Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to learn about slope fields. Let's start by answering the question, what is a slope field? From the looks of it, it seems that a slope field would be a field that's sloped. But no, that's not what we're talking about in calculus. By the way, if this were a real soccer tournament, the team on the left would have a true uphill battle. Okay, enough puns for now. In math, a slope field is a collection of short line segments that represent the slopes of solutions to a differential equation. For example, this is the slope field for the differential equation dy dx equals 1. As you can see, we have a collection of short line segments. And if we follow the flow of the line segments, we get a picture of different solutions to the differential equation. In this case, we can easily solve the differential equation. And when we do that, we get y equals x plus c. And the slope field shows us a graphical representation of this family of functions. And here, I've drawn the particular solution y equals x plus 1. Here's another example of a slope field. This one is for the differential equation dy dx equals 2x. If we follow the flow of the slopes, we can see that the solution curves are parabolas. And if we solve the differential equation, we would confirm this because we would get y equals x squared plus c. Here I've shown the particular solution y equals x squared plus 1. And here's y equals x squared minus 2. With each of these solution curves, you can see that the slope field is a set of little tangent lines that trace the curves. Sometimes we might not know the solution to a differential equation, but we can still graph the slope field. This gives us a graphical representation of the solution curves. Here, for example, I've shown the slope field for the differential equation dy dx equals x minus y. Let's talk about how to draw a slope field when given a differential equation. Here we have the differential equation dy dx equals negative x over y. Let's create a slope field for this differential equation by drawing little tangent lines at each of the coordinates provided in the grid. Let's start by plugging in coordinates and seeing what the slope is. For the point 1, 1, dy dx is negative 1. This means that at the point 1, 1, we'll draw a little line segment with a slope of negative 1. At the point 1, 2, dy dx equals negative 1 half. That means at coordinate 1, 2, we'll draw a little line segment with a slope of negative 1 half. At the point 2, 1, the slope is negative 2, so we'll draw a little line segment with a slope of negative 2. At the point 0, 1, the slope is 0, so we'll draw a little horizontal line. Now we could keep going point by point, but it's useful to look for patterns. For example, when x and y are the same, the slope will always be negative 1. And when x and y have the same numerical values but opposite signs, the slope is 1. Any coordinate on the y-axis will have a slope of 0, and any coordinate on the x-axis will have an undefined slope. Note that we don't draw anything at the origin for this problem. If we plug in 0, 0 to the differential equation, we get an indeterminate form. And so now we can start to see a picture of the solutions to this differential equation. And we can see that the solution curves are circles. Let's do another example problem. The slope field for dy dx equals x over y is shown here. Draw the solution curve that passes through the point 0, 1. So what we'll do is start at the point 0, 1 and follow the flow of the slopes. Imagine that you're in a boat and the current of the river is carrying you along. Now suppose the question asks, find the particular solution y equals f of x with the initial condition f of 0 equals 1. So what we'll do here is use the technique we learned from the video on separable differential equations and solve for y. When we do this, we get y equals the square root of x squared plus 1. Let's do one last example problem, matching slope fields. What we need to do is match the differential equation to its corresponding slope field. I encourage you to pause the video to try to think this through. To match these, we need to use a bit of logic. The solution to the first differential equation, dy dx equals x squared, would be an x cubed function. The slope field with x cubed shapes is in the upper right corner. The next differential equation is dy dx equals 2x. The solution to this will be an x squared function, and the slope field that matches an x squared shape is in the lower right corner. 
The next differential equation is dy dx equals 1 minus y. Notice that if we plug in 1 for y, we'll get a slope of 0. This matches the slope field in the lower left corner. As you can see at y equals 1, the slope is 0. By process of elimination, that means dy dx equals x plus y is the upper left corner but we can confirm this as well. One way to do this is by plugging in coordinates and getting a dy dx value and verify graphically that the slope matches the dy dx value. Notice that if we plug in x and y values with the same numerical value, but opposite signs, the slope is zero, and we can verify this graphically. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you now have a better understanding of slope fields. And that's how you rock calculus!